Greetings, my post-apocalyptic viewers. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 8 of Surviving the Aftermath, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Very soon. Uh, we've got 7 hours and 10 hours, so cool. Those trades are coming in. I could upgrade the wells, but currently I have a, uh, a net of 40 water. So I'm going to upgrade the wells uh, when I need extra water, because the upgrades are not cheap. They are um, they're metal that I do not have. So making investments with a scarce resource for a benefit I don't need isn't uh, worth it. I could, if you researched or if you voted on for me to go through the resource tree uh, to get either advanced scrappers to scrap metal faster, um, crowbars to get metal and plastic faster, or concrete workers to employ more people doing concrete. Uh, that would be the resource tree, which just hasn't gotten the votes but here we go now we have um we have some power we have a power eight and it is feeding the battery and as these solar panels get built we'll have a little bit of power to keep the environmental station working when the sun is down and the environmental station has all but five concrete fed into it trade is done Uh, let's see, is there any... Oh, Lushton has science to trade. And it improves my reputation with them. So I'm going to try to buy all other science and sell them uh, excess food that I currently have that I feel like I can part with. And I'm also setting up a... Um, I'm also setting up an outpost for automatic rifles, so I don't really need shotguns. So there we go. That is a huge trade to buy a whole lot of science from them. And it will also improve our relationship uh, even higher, which is great. And this settler yep. is only 12 hours away from being able to create a scavenger outpost for those automatic rifles. Being able to supply automatic rifles to our colony. That's why I felt very comfortable selling those shotguns. Now back to one of the other bottlenecks that we had, um, tailoring. I can either build another tailor uh, workshop or I can um, do some research into having grand tailors or more tailors working. So that, again, is over here, apprentice for more work slots for tailors and tool, tool shops. And the other trade just came in. I'm going to fire the second trader. I'm only going to run, run one trade route right now. Uh, what does relationships do? Um, so there are some achievements to get max relationships. And then also, yeah, it's like more opportunities for trade, better opportunities for trade, that kind of stuff. All right, she has... Yeah, let's keep collecting. Okay. Job done. Do I have a scientist? Oh, Big Nate, you are a scientist. Okay, okay. let's go to this uh, science node. I should have taken the car. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to get the scavenger outpost. Okay. Automatic rifles, here we go. Outpost is now complete. So, I think it's worth teasing you with Zhang being raffled for uh, for automatic rifles. Trade well worth it, right? So, we are about to get the environmental station completed. And then I'm going to tackle this pollution node first. So, the way these work is... They require power, as you can see, I'm now in a ne negative situation. And then you can change the work area, and I'm going to shrink it down just on that little pollution node. And what they do is they'll travel there, dig it up, and then stick the radiation into the waste dump. 
And uh, when the entire node is removed, it will uh, slowly over the course of time um, de or remove the radiation from the soil. It doesn't happen overnight, but it is, uh, it's, it's pretty nice when it, it does. Hey, Tumblr. Thank you for the raid, buddy. How goes the aftermath? We survived a pandemic most recently. Uh, we have just researched wind power. So now we know how to make wind turbines. And, uh, you and your raiders can vote on what branch of research to invest in next. So here are some of the options. Uh, we, if we do infrastructure, uh, we could get, oh boy, uh, we could get pavement. If we did food, we would go for either soil studies for faster planting or bigger farms or animal ranches. If you went resources, uh, we could get, um, metal or concrete faster. Uh, for community, probably one of these two for some happiness in the community and for safety, uh, reinforce gate so that we can kill uh, invaders more effectively. And Shield, thanks for gifting out a sub to Tumblin. Okay, there are four colonists threatening to leave because they're unhappy. There's a new quest Whatever. And a new quest available, QSO. Long distance communications were severely hit in the aftermath as TVs, radio stations, and telephones fell silent, people became more isolated than ever. Some of the more industrious survivors have been trying to restore long-distance comms between societies, albeit with a little luck. So the faint, crackling signal starts repeating a set of faraway coordinates in a transceiver. Everyone is rather surprised. All right, let's check the coordinates. So, the... It's not far away. It's like literally adjacent to Yodaville. But oh, okay, sure. Yep. Most of these types of quests are are pretty close. All right. Looks to me like you guys want me to invest in resources. So, uh, specifically, what resource tech? I'll have you vote on that. So we could either get advanced scrapping. That would allow us to get more metal more quickly. It also leads to crowbars for more metal and plastic more quickly. Uh, apprentices, which allows us to employ uh, one more person in our tool um, workshops and our tailors, or uh, concrete workers, which allows us to employ one more person collecting concrete. Those, I think, are the more important ones being offered here. So, have at it. You pick. Rats are eating our food. Yield! Yeah, oh well. Alright, let's try uh, another radio station. The Outback. So here's a wind turbine. And I'm going to add a wind turbine to the grid as well. Uh, but maybe I'll put it over here. Here, oh, I don't know. I'll put it, uh, I'll put it here. All cleaned up. Oh, good currency found. Dang, some money. All right, Freddy, you have a lot of meds, so head home, but like go things. to the QSO coordinate first. All done. Eyes. You have a lot of resources as well, so bring that. Is there anything needed immediately? No, none of it is really needed, needed immediately. Uh, so keep gathering. Sure thing. Ready. And then Harry, I might need you to, how close are you to being able to be done here? No, I don't want that. Yes. Okay, uh, cancel the mission here because it's going to literally kill you. Aborting mission. 
And you are a scout. I'm going to have you grab the van and head over here and grab these two nodes as well. These won't hurt you. We have a little bit of a deficit of uh, clothing, so he's working to uh, to grab some clothing there. All right. Good stuff. Advanced scrapping. All right, let's do it. Reclaimable materials. Research. I'm I'm also, by the way, with you there. I think that was a good choice. They were all good choices, but that one really kind of was needed. Red dude. How would I keep these colonists from leaving? Um, making them happier. So right now, if you take a look, uh, some colonists are, are hungry. Um, they all have poor shelter, and I'm not entertaining them. So what would make them happier is if I... What would be really, really effective, I would say, is if I went into the community research tree and got re re remembrance or aggression release. If I built a brawl pit or a memorial, it would entertain them and they would want to stay. That would be the most effective way. Alternatively, I could feed them a little bit better. Uh, so one of the reasons I'm removing the pollution here is so that I can build a cookhouse adjacent and not have the cookhouse serve polluted uh, food. So that's another way to make it. But essentially, it's to address their concerns. So right now, their welfare is maxed just about, as you can see, the green bar. Their comfort is low, and their entertainment is basically non-existent. I haven't made an entertainment building yet. A lot of the times, um, the colonists threatening to leave will just like be, eh, we'll stay at the end of it. It was a kind of a bluff, but um, even if they're not bluffing, you know, we'll we'll do what we can to, uh, to try to address their needs. But What's like, that? there's only so much you can do, in my opinion. <laughs> so like, if we take a look at the individual, um, it's a poor shelter issue here. Uh, that does bring me to another question. One of their issues, of course, is poor shelters. Um, you just had me research better scrapping. So one of the things that we might be able to do is to A, build another scrapper and then um, employ a whole bunch of people in the scrappers and then maybe start to roll out shanties uh, because if we get some shanties, we can keep them a little bit happier. Shanties have uh, less of a penalty to happiness than tents. Tents make ha unhappiness. Um, so, yeah, that, that's a possibility as well to make them happy. So either entertain them or provide better shelters. And uh, as you can see, a bit further down the line, you've got... Um, oh, this is the wrong tree. A bit further down the line, you've got uh, better houses as well. Comfortable houses. And uh, so it goes even higher than shanties. But they don't upgrade to one another. You can't upgrade a tent to a shanty. You have to build it from scratch. You know what? I don't need so many working there anymore. And then probably going to want uh, another scrapper. So let's do that. To help out with the uh, dismal amount of metal that I have. Spicy Jazz, thanks for the resub. And Quarazilla, thanks for continuing your gifted sub. Okay, I have to keep an eye on Big Nate's health because Big Nate is hurt. But, uh, oh, there's barely any science left in this nuclear power plant, so that's kind of not a problem. Yes. And then Freddy, what heading to the here? coordinates. Yep. And Eyes, you're going to grab the tools. Sounds good. How does home improvement help this shanty? So, uh, here, I'll show you. We take a look at the community tab. Go over to the shanty. Home improvement. Uh, makes it so it provides some happiness. So we can even make the shanties better. 
it will require us to build a shanty and then improve the shanty again. Um, so it, it dramatically increases the cost of the shanty. Um, again, which is why I uh, really need another scrapper because our metal of zero is definitely hurting us in the long run or in the short run even. And you guys just tapped another plastic road. Wow, 99 richness. I know what I'm gonna be deep drilling for. Holy cow, that is, cheers. That is exactly where we wanna be. We've made a new discovery. One of the huge benefits here is this is also, so, you eventually unlock technology to be able to mine the underground resources, uh, but it requires power. So this is really lucky because it's also basically next to my initial transformer. So all I have to do is make one more transformer over here and boom, it's a, it's a, a perfect underground plastic node. Uh, so the advanced scrappers are now ready to go and I would need to upgrade now the problem is the advanced scrappers cost metal, so I need to um, stockpile a little bit of metal before I do that because I don't have that. Do I have a trade going on? Yeah, I do with Lushton. They're about to bring in a whole bunch of science. Speaking of which, speaking of which, uh, where are we investing again? So we could reinvest in crowbars again, and that would speed up even more metal grabbing. Um, we could do this direction, which then adds one more work slot for metal, if we really want to go ham on metal, uh, or concrete slots. So that would be resources for food. It would be farming or um, animal husbandry or soil studies for planting speed. Infrastructure would be probably pavement. Community would be home improvement. And then we would try to get the shanties going. And then safety would be the walls, the uh, the reinforced gate. So, so if um, bandits came to try to kill us, we could defend ourselves a little bit more effectively. Command. So this wind turbine is about to have all of the materials it needs to be built. And then uh, we should start to stockpile our metal so that we can get the advanced scrappers which is uh, gonna be real good. But we already have double the amount of scrappers. So that's, that's a huge gain. And here we go. Uh, the initial pollution zone here is gone. So if we take a look at the overlay for pollution, as you can see, there's still remnant pollution because we haven't cleaned that up, but it will slowly dissipate over time. And then if we take a look over here in our waste dump, the waste dump has some pollution that we dug up. I hate you. Why? What, double hit? They're like, come on. Yeah, I knew it was a risk, but like, for real? Two hits? Yeah, Randy's firing those, I know. Uh, the people that were threatening to leave left, I think? All right, whatever. And I have the ability to recruit a new, whoa, you're expensive, but uh, okay. Panda. Interesting name. Here's the raffle timer. Hopefully it won't bug out. It's counting down. Lovely. Uh, and resources barely edged out. Community. So taking a look at resources. I'm going to have you make some choices. What resource tech? Crowbars, which makes plastic and metal faster. Trash. Eval, which makes plastic faster. Which also leads to scavenger teams for more slots. Apprentices. 
I think I spelled that wrong in my haste. And then uh, concrete workers. No. Go ahead and pick. And yes, we are going to be raffling Panda. Um, All right. Come and then Panda, uh, you're going to stick around home for a bit so they can rename you. Because if I deploy you right now, I won't be able to rename you. So Big Nate is done. Awesome. And I'm going to have her hop the, into the car and drive towards home. Mission complete. Ice snack. Okay. Go get meds. What's up? Freddy, go get the coordinates. What do we have here? The coordinates from the radio signal lead to a small cabin in the woods with a large tent-like structure next to it. The cabin itself is dark and silent, but all sorts of crackles and radio noise echoes from the tent. Inside, there's a man in front of a large radio transmitter, headphones over his ears like this. The man jolts and nearly falls off his chair when he's grabbed. Why would we grab him? Sorry, you caught me by surprise. I'm Jerry. Sorry, Jerry, that we were a jerk. Uh, he has been working on a long wave radio transmitter for a while now. Ask about the signal. Yeah, that was me. I'm basically trying to get a contact through different bandwidth uh, radio amateurs were using before, trying to find others to link up with. His plan of reforming regional communications is ambitious, but it hasn't panned out just yet. Uh, look, I got some extra stuff stockpiled in the cabin. I could spare one box so you could get your own comms up and maybe help the cause. Sure. Um... Hmm. Taking a look at this, uh, I'm gonna pick the second box. I won't leave it to vote. Quest complete. So quest complete. And you, with all of your resources, is going to head home, my friend. Can't do that. Cool. All right. So you guys want crowbars? Let's research crowbars. Uh, hello? Yep. Alright, and then as soon as I have a little bit of surplus of metal, I'll upgrade these scrappers to advanced scrappers. We've reached a milestone. And a milestone of Sparks of Progress. Energy production to 30. Which is a lie, because Oh no, I'm producing 38. So here's my little wind. Spin, dude, spin! And then if we check back on the uh, the pollution overlay, as you can see, this is slowly shrinking. All right, I know I ask this a lot, but uh, pick the next branch. Because crowbars is just about done, and uh, we have a lot of science points. So let's queue up another trade. These guys are unfriendly. Why are you unfriendly? I'm going to buy their herb seed and sell them... Sell them some of my rare metals? No, they barely sell for anything. God, I don't really have anything in abundance to sell. Naichi, thank you for the resub. A venison, I guess. I'll sell some venison to offset some of the cost. Sell pollution. I, I could have, should have, but, you know. So now that I have... Now that I have, uh... The priority here. Investing in power grid... Vote on next focus. So after I finish this up, you guys can vote on what I focus on, whether it is the bunker or better houses or uh, potentially entertainment. So what I did here, just to explain, is I'm employing uh, one person in the maintenance depot 
And what maintenance will do is they will automatically repair, not for free, but automatically repair things that get damaged, and then to decontaminate things that are contaminated. The environmental station um, is a building that produces contamination, uh, despite the fact that it cleans up pollution. So um, this, this uh, maintenance depot will help to keep it from being irradiated itself, and then to keep the power grid nice and repaired. In fact, let me move the work area to sort of cover as much of the town as well. And you guys obviously uh, vote for community, so what kind of community do you want? Uh, there is... Here's the three options that I think are going to be important. What... Uh, home improvement? Which just makes me think of Tim the Toolman Taylor. Uh, aggression release, which is a brawler pit. Or remembrance. Which is a memorial. Is there anything else worth... No. Yeah, that's it. So pick one of those three. And, uh, and two. The home improvement is to make shanties better. And then the other two are to... Um, you know, the other two are for uh, recreation. Done by Dan. Congratulations on Panda. I'm going to call. There's a. There. Done by Dan. If you uh, if you want to change your name again from Done by Dan to something else, uh, just let me know. But I am going to send you out into the map tile and have you do stuff more exciting than uh, than sit here. So. Actually, I'm going to send Skyjacker out, because, uh... Reporting in. You fight for 25d damage. Help? Actually, you both fight for 25 damage, but, um... Skyjacker moves faster than you, so you're better at staying at home. And crowbars are now done. Crowbars, um... Give you, like, a blanket benefit. It doesn't require a, um... Uh, it doesn't require you to, uh... To, like, ink upgrade or anything, but now I'm starting to upgrade the scrappers to advanced scrappers, which will work even faster and can employ more people. Alright, so Skyjacker, you are right. ready, and looking at my resources... Hmm. These guys are guarding antibiotics... I might take out some bandit camps, guarding some clothing, guarding some uh, iodine pills, electronics, medicine. You can, if, if you're wondering how I'm telling that, uh, when you mouse over it, you can see, uh, well, I wish I could point all the way there, but you can see what they're uh, actually protecting. So I think these ripper thugs yep. is what I'm going to head to. Shoot. And I'm going to have, um, I'm going to Freddy, uh, Detour rather than coming straight home to help with the Ripper Thugs. Huh? You got it. So we'll kill these Ripper Thugs for clothing because my clothing production is kind of crap. Your orders? Huh? Going. How may I help? Right, so big Nate, hop in that car and bring the car most of the way home. Until you have the ability, until you have this research, and let me show you the specific research I'm referencing, uh, don't park cars unless they're broken down uh, in your base. So it would be motorization. Uh, the way this works is eventually once you get motorization, you can repair and refuel cars and then redeploy them to use them for faster travel. But you can't do that until you have motorization. So if I parked... If I had uh, Big Nate park into Yodaville, there'd be no way for me to use that car anymore until I research motorization. So the only reason to do that is if the car breaks down and you're pushing it. Uh, once the car breaks down, you can push it, uh, is something I also should, should add. So, you know, don't worry about driving a car until it's uh, Kaputski. Oh, good. These got more damaged. Hi, Tusk, come here. I love when my power grid is falling apart. And, uh, what do you say? You, wow, this is, a uh, quite the tie. Aggression release wins by a hair. 
So let's get happy by punching each other in the face. Is that it? Now, there is a benefit to researching both, so that's fine. Uh, but uh, now that that's done, what should be our main goal? Better housing or the doomsday bunker? Just one of those two. Like the, our large construction project, the main sort of focus. Okay, uh, people are starting to automatically get furloughed because I have enough resources. I'm gonna fire them myself and close them down until I need them. But I will employ some in the forestry. Is there a quick way to see your food production usage? Yep, right here. Production, consumption. It's not exactly accurate because um, crops are, are harvested in batches. Um, but yeah, that would be the way. And I was actually furloughing those people so that I could uh, grow more stuff. So let's do that. Uh, we are going to grow corn, potatoes, and corn. And then over here, my fiber's fine, so we'll do corn and potatoes. Lots and lots and lots of farms. Didn't I buy new seeds? I don't... Yeah, I did. Um, I don't think they're here yet. <laughs> they're, they're coming in a day and eight hours. Okay, so the first advanced scrapper is done. And this is going to work faster uh, than the basic scrapper. So as you can see here... Um, well, here, let me show you. The advanced scrapper takes uh, six metal and turns it into 14, or six sort of like metal scrap and turns it into 14 metal and four parts. That's parts, right? Or four junk, rather, uh, which is up from eight and two. So 14 and four is a lot better. Definitely a, a way to more efficiently um, support your, uh, your industries. Better housing. Okay, let's upgrade that, update the uh, priority there, and you can pick the next research. So, focus on better houses. So, if I'm going to do better houses, uh, one big thing that I'm going to want to do is to clear out a nice area for me to set up a new housing project. I think the nice area will be over here. Uh, this spot is, um, isn't fertile. And if I can clean up the pollution, it will be uh, it'll be usable. And if you take a look at the pollution map here, there's barely any pollution left as a result of cleaning it up here. This is the last spot. So as you can see, it, it does improve over time. And and uh, and here we go. Uh, this is a shanty. And uh, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to set up um, the burners. to cover the entire swath of the of the housing project. Actually, it might not be here. Let me see if there's a better spot. Um, that has like a rift. Over here seems fine, actually. Over here seems great. It's empty. Can I? I can't build over there, though. Um, what's this? Con concrete rubble? Uh, yeah, maybe in this spot here, up where the scrappers are. Yeah, this will be the housing project. Okay, so I'll build the burner first, and then we can start setting up the uh, the other stuff. Uh, let me move the dirt road so it's out of the way. and doesn't bisect our commu new community, new planned community. And then... Yeah, I think I'll... They'll, they'll be happier for it. 
I hope. As long as they're not ingrates. Alright, what do we uh -huh. got? Freddy! Attacking target. Alright. And Showtime. Skyjacker. Fighting for the clothing. Big yep. Nate. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, well. I didn't mean for Big Can't Nate to hop Sorry, out of the uh, car, but eh, too late. Yep. How may I help? Huh? And eyes. Moving. Mitts. Cool. Shoot. And Harry, you're still scavenging? Okay, so we're good. It might be worth uh, Harry coming back home, healing, and then actually going on a scout mission to scout some more stuff around the uh, edges of the map. Okay, so you guys want some community. Uh, what community research? We've got home improvement, which is better shanties or remembrance or uh, botanical gardens. I do find it kind of funny. Uh, so botan botanical gardens is a way for people to recreate by um, planting flowers. Um, I do find it funny that a brawl pit leads to flowers. I mean, sure, I guess. Makes total sense to me. And Nos Fratten, thank you for the, uh, the sub. The Cheers to you, dude. Survivors at the Ragged gate. Bunch shuffles slowly three children, sure. Sounds good. Oh, three infected children. Speaking of children, uh, my schools are starting to fill up, so I think it would be a good idea for me to invest in additional schools. Schools are great because um, educated children become um, more productive as adults. A permanent productivity boost. So, making them smart kids is good for uh, the long run. All right, you guys want uh, you want nicer homes? Okay, cool. I'm totally, I agree. So let's queue that up after aggression release, and we'll start the shanties. Hmm. Trying to think of how to build it so that uh, it's like maximum land use. The uh, the regular shanties will when they when you upgrade your shanties, uh, they will. They're the same footprint. I'll go like this. I'll just sort of ignore the fact that it's there. And then I can put something cosmetic in that spot. All right, so that's a lot of homes. And we'll connect it to the road. I'll start with just the two. Oh, and we have the second advanced scrapper. And this advanced scrapper obviously is going to be instrumental in making sure that we have enough metal for all these projects because these projects are not going to be cheap. Um, does the Meptile grow as influence area? Uh, as you scout, you gain more access to more land. So, yes, sort of. I'm furloughing my um, my tool workers because I've got plenty of tools right now. We've made a new discovery. 
and we just got aggression release. So with aggression release, we can set up a brawl pit where we can just beat the snot out of one another. Uh, let's teach our children that if they're bad, they end up in the brawl pit. And stick the brawl pit right next to our uh, our school, because, you know, that makes 100% sense. And we're going to build that one next. High priority next. Okay. Uh, colonists are unhappy and threatening to leave. Perfect, because I'm setting up a brawl pit. <laughs> Puppy treats. Cool. Here you go, dude. Hey. Treat. I don't think he wants treats. Yoda. Oh my god, he's like too lazy to even eat. Alright, so boom, they're dead. We won the battle. Right away. What's up? And Skyjacker, you are going to grab tools for okay. me. Because it's right here. All done. Alright, Harry Larry. Can do. Keep collecting. Medicine running real low? Yep, I know. I have a lot of my uh, scavengers out there full of medicine. So I have, if I have medical emergencies, I can recall them and very quickly um, stock up. Right now, I think that um, too, mu too, uh, too much of our population is focused on um, farming. And I need to upgrade the farm quality so that... I don't have such a large amount of the population working at these farms. That would be definitely my benefit. But how's these shanties coming along? Hmm, ish. So, the wood stockpile that was back here is gone. I don't think that there's any more wood to collect in the known map. So, I'm just going to leave this flag uh, at the stockpile. And then the pollution stockpile just got cleaned up. Let's clean up this. Hold on, let me, let me take a quick look at my fertility. So, I have pollution here. And pollution here, which um, cover farm zones. And here, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up this pollution because it's probably the closest to the farm zone. Uh, speaking of investing more in the farms, so if if I do manage to clean up these three pollution nodes, I can really oh we got our first winter storm. Uh, we can you know try to utilize more of this land for more productive farming. All cleaned up. All right, so Freddy. You're gonna head home, and you have so many materials on you. Holy cow! Of course. Uh huh. And then, Big Nate is heading home as well. Oh, Big Nate, you left your. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, you're gonna head home to heal, but you left your resources of components in the car, so that's not great. All right, yes. while she's doing that, uh, Dumb by Dan, you're going to go All right. out to the world map and switch places with her, and you are going to go harvest sandworms. Remember to harvest food? Thank you, cat frog. Yeah, let's start that. I'm going to start my harvest now because we have a winter storm coming. Potatoes are a little bit more resilient. Here, uh, there's no food. Potatoes are a little more resilient and allow you to harvest um, after the storm is hit. Uh, a little bit, but uh, everything else is going to need to be now, 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 now. So. And any farm that doesn't have any resources, I'm just firing the farmer. 
and then we can employ the farmer or employ the people. Let's go lumber because uh, more trees is always a good thing. Uh, when, once it freezes, the forester is going to shut down too. We've made a new discovery. All right, with home improvement done, uh, you can pick next branch. I don't even have a shanty yet, so I can't even improve them. But right now, the priority is this brawl pit. Oh, do I not have the fun boxes for the brawl pit? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, I could look to buy fun boxes if anyone sells them. Which they don't. Okay, never mind. What else do we need? Uh, we have a lack of metal, so let's see if anyone sells metal. Yeah, one of my specialists have some, and they'll be heading home eventually. None of these have metal. Uh, what else do I need? Fiber clothing, I guess. Or fuel. Does anyone sell fuel or clothing? So clothing here, yeah. They sell a little clothing. Buy 10. Or actually buy all their clothes. They're not that overpriced. Buy all their clothes and... Um, you can buy my pollution. Oh, I missed that. Let me open that uh, menu up. I'm going to sell the wheat because I don't even know how to use the wheat yet. I don't honestly know why I'm growing wheat. And I'm going to sell some automatic rifles because I don't need as many as I currently have. And this helps to offset the rifle cost or the, uh, the trade cost. So, confirm. Jerry! <laughs> Thank you for the tip again. Holy cow. Double tips. I'll cheers that. Doesn't uh, Maltown sell fun boxes? Oh, let me double check. I don't think they did. I think they used to. Oh, no, they do. I'm just an idiot. Good. Uh, very good. Well, someone's about to bring... Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother doing that. Someone, someone's about to bring fun boxes home, so we'll just grab it when they come home. So who is the one with fun boxes? Would be worth Freddy. checking. I think it's Nate or uh, Freddy. No, it's not Freddy. How may I help you? Eyes, maybe? Your command? I'm not sure how to check what they have in their inventory when they're currently scavenging. But uh, done by Dan. Let's see. So there's a there's a fun box. Well, that's in Lutchton, so I can't I can't exploit that. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with you. Uh, go get some candy bars. Sure thing. For now. Checking on the farms here, so once the yields are zero, I'll shut them down. Like this one. Oh, there's something to be harvested here. I guess the uh, the the corn grew. Can the uh, HUD cover or HUD move? Uh, yeah, let me try that. I'll just pause for a second. I don't think of how to do that. Um, how is there? And here's a vote timer. I have to move the vote timer as well. All right, that should not cover too, too much. And then... Let's 
Sorry. Have to uh, fix it for both. Thank you for watching Surviving the Aftermath, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 29th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine or know when my YouTube videos release, Rodamont.com is your resource for both. If you'd like to chat with me in real time, Rodamont.com has a link to Discord, or the video description has a link to Discord as well. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel with likes, comments, and subscriptions. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.